Is that a is that an air raid siren? <laughs> no, it's wolves. Oh, right here. oh, wolves, wolves, wool. There's a wolf. You don't want to. You don't want to say it. They're full. You don't want to say the real thing. Or why? You just don't. Oh, okay. Because it's you can tell it's spooky season right now. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's creepy. What happened? It's haunted. God, it gets haunted every every season. <laughs> every we get haunted for a bit, <laughs> and then it. Every five and it, and weeks, it chills down for a bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I, I knew, I knew shit was haunted last night when I was sleeping in the in, in the house. Um, Are you sleeping? What happened? <laughs> You're not supposed to be in there. Where am I supposed to be sleeping? In the fuck? I fixed the UFO. It's been shit. You, you climb your ass up there and you sleep in the UFO. You've even been sleeping in that. Yeah, I've been uh, in the UFO. There's curtains okay. up there now. It's really nice. Blackout curtains, inside and out. Yeah, I you did a good job. I've just been sleeping in the house. Oh. I was wondering where you were. Wait, well, what's been going on with the house? Why couldn't you... Have, couldn't I mean, you I just... I woke up in the middle of the night and Bloody Mary just topping my shit. <laughs> yeah, that was a ghost. <laughs> there wasn't anybody else in the house. Ghost? You, mm-hmm. Like a Rolls Royce? It's always, no, it's not. The, always about the money with you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Royals Royce, dude. Is it Royals Royce or Ro- Rolls Royce? Rolls, Rolls Royce. Royce. Rolls Royce? Yeah. Yeah. That uh, definitely is a very, it's it, that's a British brand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is Rolls it, I Royce. Don't, I don't, it should be. <laughs> it should be. I don't know. So you woke up and, and Bloody Mary was giving you top? Yeah. He was braining you down? I mean, I, I only, <laughs> only knew because of the <laughs> noise. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm waking, <laughs> I'm waking up. Oh. <laughs> well, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't feel anything, you know? It's just Rolls, like a, Ro- Rolls Royce. Just a specter. Rolls Royce. It was crazy seeing through the top of her skull onto her tongue, though. Like, that's the weird part about ghosts is, like, it's not, like, the top of a head, you know? Right. What Are you saying like? the head was rotted or, like, it's, like, she's transparent? It was, like, a mixture. Okay. It's, like, rot and transparency. Right. It sounded like a banshee. It didn't sound. That's why I Can woke I up. Can I get an example? Yeah. Yeah. It was, like, <laughs> while she was going up and down? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's some- <laughs> You were able to maintain an erection? Well, I had to pee, so it was just kind of hitting my... I was hoping that she'd sound like a witch or something like... <laughs> well... <laughs> and you're like, oh. Oh, fuck oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> 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 that kind of thing the whole time. Yeah. Because that would that would be very frightening. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was just like a... Oh, my God. It was just like an awkward scream, and I woke up. I was like, what? what is happening? And her, her just, you know... Did you dirty talk her at all? I yeah, tried. you fucking freak. <laughs> Bloody Mary. I love when you that's laugh a, that, like a... That's how you, that's how you dirty talk, Bloody Mary. Yeah. God, you're a fucking uh, you freak. you fucking freak, bitch. <laughs> Look at you, you gross bitch. <laughs> she's like, she's like, ah, ah. That's the whole time. I love that sick little laugh you do. Mm. <laughs> you freak, bitch. I also like how... Uh, Rotting. <laughs> you ever been... You ever, I mean, I've, every time I've been waking up like I buy a tornado siren, I fling myself forward. Yeah, and I try to figure out what's going on. But with you, with a, a banshee scream, you're just like, <laughs> yeah, huh? Like, I like how that's your, <sighs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. So then, what makes you jump up? Then, um, are you like intermittently getting scared yeah, amongst I mean, the pleasure? I'm freaked out. There's no pleasure, dude. It's like you don't feel anything. Oh, so she's giving you head, but like she's a ghost, so you don't actually. So you're just you don't you're, get any physical. Just a limp dick. No, nah, I was just like I kind of had to pee, so you know it's like I had that like pee erection. You ever have that? And she's just moving around. The yeah, boner. just like kind of swirling around it. Okay, is it actually moving the penis around? Or no, just, oh. no. I was gonna say it'd be funny if it was just a half chub, just kind of like flopping around like a like a boiled hot dog, just on your. <laughs> she she looked more like a like a dog that's like afraid of its toy. You know, it's like a lot of motion, but the, <laughs> the the toy itself is not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, come on, you're such a tease. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I mean, like, I didn't even know that you were in the house, and I mean, that's good housekeeping, right? That's like a good good host. It's all Getting right. Getting your dude. dick sucked by a ghost. You never, <laughs> you never got that at a Hilton Hotel or anything like that, <laughs> have you? That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's a good point. I'll bill you. 
That's crazy. Yeah, though. Yeah. I had no idea there was ghosts here. I mean, it makes sense. It is mm-hmm. the creepy, spooky week. Yeah. It is, and I always bring out the uh, the Ouija board because oh. the spirits like to talk to us. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. Damn. And so I mean, if you want things, to, dude, you can... I don't want to do this. It creeps me out. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this. No. You'll never know the kind of the insight you get from beyond. I've never done this before because it really, really scares me. No, no, we should we should do this. You think we should? Yeah, definitely we should do this. I don't want to. You, you sure this is yours? Yes, that's the hundred. I brought it out. Interesting. Every okay. spooky season. So how does it work? How do you do it? You put your hands on it and you let the spirits guide you. Okay. Do I do it too? You can if you want. Okay. I'll let you do it. Okay. I, it creeps me out too much. All right. What are they saying? Uh, let's see where this. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. F. F. Wait. A, F A, T, and then stop. Well, don't put your hand off. It's probably trying to. Yeah, it's, trying, mm, it's trying to say more. I think, think it was yeah. done. No, I. Mm. No, it's, no, it's just going back. back to F, and then A, and then yeah, it's just reaffirming. Yep, that's what it's spelled. Fat. Fat. No, I think it's just. Oh, it's just one. Fat. Th- <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. I think it's here. Here, let's let me reset it. Okay, okay. Reset okay. It. Maybe it was a mistake. All right, um, fat is what it's spelled though. Fat. All right, let's let's ask. Okay. Uh, I don't know what they're trying to say with that here. Well, let's ask it. Okay. Great, great spirit. Um, maybe if you're there, wore the bib overalls for the. Uh, can you? I don't think it was talking about you. Can you? Can you? Well, I I don't think so either. We don't know if it's fat or fat or something like. It that. It was fat. Okay. Great spirit, can you clarify what you were trying to say? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's, it's it's back to F. F back to F. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. You know, we got more vowels on this side. We don't know. Okay, it's true. Okay, it's like, oh. And so you're not moving this at all. This is no, just the spirits. No, okay. It's back to A. A back to A, so it's F A. Okay, wait. wait I'm kidding. Let's see what the last one is. And this this thing is like, it's got a mind of its own. I, I barely got my hand on it. Wow. It's sliding over past the S and then just lined it on the T. Damn. And it stopped? I mean, yeah, I mean, here. I don't think that there's any spirits. I think that's you doing that. I don't, th- I mean. It's not moving. Wow. F-A-T. What could that mean? Fat. Hmm. Do you have any fat relatives? Or- <laughs> <laughs> no. Surely, no. I mean, I don't. Surely this wouldn't be a malicious act to. No, like literally all my relatives are like ripped, so. <laughs> Are yeah, I, really ripped. Yeah, my family's pretty. Yeah, I got shade. some porkers in my family. Mm. Mm. Maybe they're talking about my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask. Yeah, I mean, are you talking about my Who, fat sister? Uh, dear spirits, of whom do you speak? In reference to fat. Oh boy! Oh no! Yeah, that's an H. No, that's not looking good. That's an H. My sister's name's Haley. So. <laughs> There's oh, still okay, some hope. Okay, okay, wait. I, um, oh, 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 okay, oh! Then. Past the U. Oh no, it's going back to the, the. It's going back to the U. Oh, it went past, but it went right back. Huh? huh. Hmm? Could be another name. He could be human. Any human. Humans could just say humans. I mean, the world's very obese right now, so we... Aldous Huxley, I think, was kind of a porker, too, so, you know, it could be, like, a great author <laughs> situation. Hard for me to lean up because my belly's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's an end. Take a load that's off, That's a big old end, yeah. Hmm. Well, you, you know, it could be G, like, hung. Hungry. Could be hungry about Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a T, all right. Damn, damn. It just says hunt. It stopped at hunt. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it kept going. E R. Whoa, that's <sighs> crazy. Fuck. It's odd that it got very fast at the end. Yeah. I know the spirits just were super motivated to finish that Wait, name. Wait, what's going on? It's <laughs> it's shaking. Whoa, whoa. H U uh, uh, N T E. <laughs> Are... I have a feeling that there isn't actually any spirits doing this, and I feel like uh, you guys are just being assholes. What? S Hunters. Oh, damn. It literally says stretch marks on the board. Yeah, it says, wow. it's, 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 I've it's, actually never seen a 
that wasn't there before. Wow, look at this. The spirit must have carved this in right there. That's it. It says stretch marks on the board. Wow. <laughs> That's so crazy, man. They're talking about all sorts of people. <laughs> Not, I don't think it's anybody like here. I think it's just like reaching for somebody around the area or something like that. It's crazy. Yeah. Must be. Must be. Because I don't have stretch marks at all. So, yeah. No. Yeah. I've never seen any on you. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> this got sad. <laughs> this big got sad. It was funny for the first couple minutes, yeah. and then it got real personal. Yeah. <laughs> I think it has more to say. What else could it say? Uh, okay, what is it? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, what else does it say? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ghosts are a kind of peculiar thing, aren't they? They are, man. They are. They are. You guys have any uh, experience? I can tell you about the time I saw Paranormal Activity for the first time. <laughs> and as soon as we got home, all of my friends were like, everybody was wide awake. And then there'd always be like, every like 10 minutes there'd be a guy be like, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I think someone said my name. Oh my like walk around the house and shit. Paranormal Activity was a very powerful film. I never when saw it. Came out. You never saw Paranormal Activity no, when you were never kid? saw it, no. That's the one where they like filmed it with just like hand cams. It was made for like $2, right? Isn't it just like the CCTV video of like the living or of the bedroom? Yeah, right? well, yeah. it's like it's it's just like a found footage thing, but the whole thing was it was kind of like a Blair Witch Project thing where I think a lot of people thought it was real. Oh, right, right. And but it's a, just, and isn't as a, it, and as isn't a it, child, I did. I was like, right, and it's like a couple, right? Yeah. And the husband wakes up, and he's getting domed from Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary with the banshee screams. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is scary. Yeah, and then as as Bloody Mary is like shrieking on his dick. He just kind of lays back. He's like, God damn, I wish this was real. Universal Pictures presents yeah. Bloody Mary Doming Queen. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Paranormal Activity Bloody Mary. Yeah. Hey, guys, we want to take a break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. What is HelloFresh? Well, with HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable yeah. and that's why it's america's number one meal kit it's the most festive time of the year and hellofresh is here to help make the most of every moment from holiday hosting to dinners during busy weeknights you can count on hellofresh to deliver fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes tis the season for saving money wherever we can hellofresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25 percent less expensive than takeout so you can uh use those savings for holiday gifts or to treat yourself <laughs> Thanks, Noel. Yeah. HelloFresh's Festive Eats makes mealtime a snap. Choose from holiday-inspired dinner recipes, seasonal add-ons, or even a three-course offering, all designed to make holiday meals extra yummy and easier than ever. I really love HelloFresh. I make it all the time. I truly do. Every single one of their recipes are fire, including the firecracker meatballs. And my mm -hmm. personal favorite, yeah. the holiday bibimbap. Yeah. Which is just bibimbap, but you eat it during the holidays. Yeah. It's f really good. Yeah. And uh, if you're interested in that holiday bibimbap or just bibimbap in general, you can go to hellofresh.com slash meatlocker18 and use code meatlocker18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. That's hellofresh.com slash meatlocker18 and use code meatlocker18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Would you go see a Paranormal Activity movie if it was just ghosts giving fake head to guys left and right? <laughs> no, I want to see. <laughs> no, I want to see. Yeah. No, no, I wanna, no. I, I want to see. Off that premise alone, you wouldn't go. I would 100% be there. <laughs> yeah, I would go. Especially I, if it was just go. a movie and it was really boring and like you couldn't even see. Because in those movies, the ghost is always invisible. Yeah. So even if the guy was just like, if it's just like a guy being pissed off for like 45 minutes, he's like, <laughs> like, it's like night vision of him yeah. in the room I would be in that theater like <laughs> is he gonna I'd, come yeah exactly <laughs> I would I think he's getting I would like to see <laughs> I'd like to see Ichabod Crane holding his head as it gives face to a woman oh just, god just laid up just oh damn he's just jamming it in there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ichabod Crane I heard that fucking name in a while Headless Horseman another ghost yeah hmm 
Is that it? You just you guys got freaked out by Paranormal Activity? I, I saw the second one, I think. I can't remember any of it, though. Okay, that's convenient. Good story. Um, the <laughs> No, I was going to say, where you oh, grew okay. up, was there, was there a shit that like, people like uh, thought was haunted? Yeah, I mean, that's, well, that's the thing. That's like, after the Paranormal Activity, you start realizing that if you go anywhere to anybody's house, they always like, this place is haunted. Yeah. Have you heard of that? And you're like, no. Yeah. You're not special. You do not have a haunting. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah. like somebody who's like the only people I would believe is if like it's like just an old. I believe every old woman is haunted. Yeah, mm. yeah. They're creaking in the night, and they'd be like, "Yes, yeah, you're haunted." Ghost. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but you were haunted for sure. Like my yeah. grandma says shit, but they say it. My grandma says stuff in ways where it's like Wendy. No, she's mm. dead. Oh, but oh, the uh, my grandma Phyllis. I feel like old women, especially, say shit like horrible shit nonchalantly yeah so she'd be like she'd be like oh my bookshelf fell over last night and i'm like oh what like what happened she's like it just violently ripped from the wall <laughs> and i'm like did some was someone in the house no no one <clears throat> i got up and looked and i was standing in my the fucking book room for an hour and nothing no one was there and i was like just kind of weird shit like that. <laughs> yeah. But they say it a lot. Yeah. And then she'll be like, I was <laughs> she's like, what did she say? The, my grandpa was um, on his like deathbed, essentially. And she was just like, angels came last night. <laughs> and I was like, damn, grandma, let him close out his set before you start heckling and shit. <laughs> damn. Damn. Damn, bro. He's like, he's about to wrap it up. <laughs> just. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Did anyone react when your grandma said that? No, because it's like Midwest religious people where they're just like, <clears throat> good. Yeah. Oh, oh makes yeah, sense. Just, yeah. yeah, they're just makes like, sense. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Or, or the, anything, they anything, that, over, anything that they say. So, like, if my grandpa was like, you know, he's just like, oh, Bob, Bob Wilson says hi. They're like, that was the jazz trumpet player that he knew in like 1962 yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, his, <laughs> brain, his, his brain is just pumping his shit full of DMT. He's like, he's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking, he's just like throwing him. up on his chest. He's like, <laughs> like, do it, Bob. You know, I don't know where the fuck it is, but <laughs> my man's just tripping his ass. Yeah, off. just that that pineal gland unloading a hundred milligrams yeah. of fucking DMT, yeah. and he just. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Have you seen that thing where like? Uh, women can take a man's dick and then like have sex with them, like hump them. Like yep, they're, they're, yeah, they're, yep. That is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. When I saw that shit, I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> they just pin your it's leg like up you by see, your head." <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, like it's like whenever you, there's like a there was a funny gif going around of like these two gorillas having sex. And it was like the most aggressive thing I've ever seen, and it was very comparable to that. Yeah, that's she, all, I don't know. What she's like, "Yeah, you like that warm pussy?" You're like, "Yeah, I like it. I like it." <laughs> 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 I love that warm pussy. I love it. Do me, do me, doggy. <laughs> you ever flip the dick yeah, back? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're on all fours. Yeah. And she's got your dick totally bent back. I don't just, know if it's supposed to been like that. <laughs> she's like, it will if you want this warm Take pussy. You're behind. like, okay, yeah, I want the warm pussy. <laughs> I'll call you. I think it's. No, it's not saying something. Uh, it's still fat. It's still. It's not saying anything. <laughs> Goddamn ghost. Love her girl say that sh- she pulled out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My pull-out game's strong. Yeah. You're like, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna know when you nut your little fucking <laughs> nut your little balls off. I can tell. I can tell when I'm hitting you from the back. I can your balls do like a little, uh, like a little squeeze right before you're about to let it rip, and that's when I pull out out. because I know you're gonna fucking nut in me, you idiot. (laughs) Little Beyblade action. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) 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 The the dude just starts spinning. (laughs) Dude, I just thought about a a fucking a woman just violently (laughs) pumping a dude from the back, and then she just like rips his dick out like so violently. She's like. And then like it like the dick like recoils and the dude just falls on his side and like nuts all over the floor. It's like uh, uh, it's like a little fetus. She she just kicks him on, on his ass like yeah you like that shit huh? He's like yeah I did I did I did clean it up yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to work in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Maybe we can do this again sometime. Yeah, she just leaves. Yeah. 
She puts on a full no, suit he leaves. leaves. You know, he he, leaves. No, he's like... She I, kicks him out. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. we could maybe like... He's like, we get brunch or something like that. You want to watch Narcos? <laughs> <laughs> no. She slams the door on him. You think the guy would still be like, damn, I just got laid. Yeah, he'd go out and tell a very different story. Yeah, dude, I made her do some freak shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I love getting hit from the back, honestly. Feels so good. The guy's like... Yeah. <laughs> like pegged? Nah, man. Mid mid order at a Buffalo Wild Wings. He <laughs> <laughs> says that while someone's guy's like, I'll take a twelve piece Parmesan garlic, whatever, and he just start he just throws that out. Yeah, dude, so she's hit she's hitting my shit from the back. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, no, pumping my shit, dude. <laughs> pumping it. Okay, can I get a bush light as well? Thanks. Yeah, you got any IPAs? <laughs> yeah, up down. That's what we were doing last night, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. God, I hate that place. <sighs> Callbacks. Anyway, um, just in the theme, I think I have one actual paranormal experience. I know it was a dream, but it felt real as shit. Uh, How do you know it wasn't real? I mean, I don't. You're right. There you go. But uh, God is real. Yeah. Okay. When, but when I was, I think I was like four or five, this actually freaked the fuck out of me. I woke up in the middle of my sleep and I looked over and there was like a... It was like a perfect silhouette of a person like kneeling next to my bed. And it felt like a, like a, I don't know. It's like a young man. There's like no facial texture or anything. But I remember it felt so real that anytime I went to sleep, like I just was then imagining that that fucking thing was just there for many months. And no dome. No head. Uh, okay. Sounds like sleep paralysis. Like a sleep paralysis. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never had that. Do you really I, see demons? I've had sleep paralysis a bunch. Um, I, I don't know. All the times I've had it, it's just like a conscious thing where I'm like, fuck, I can't move. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I hear for a lot of people, it's like extremely horrifying. Hmm. You're like conscious, but you can't like actually move or wake up, so you're just like sitting there. Yeah. You feel like you're in a coma. It's frightening. Yeah. Who's your guys' favorite dead dog? Ooh, <laughs> Airbud. Yeah. Ah, okay. Airbud. SB. <laughs> Love Airbud. Okay. Used to go do live shows. Airbud. No way. Get the fuck out of here. The he actual that. dog. Mm-hmm. Really? They'd go. He would go before NBA games, and he would shoot baskets and stuff. No way. Literally. So wait, the movie. YouTube it. The movie was not fake. Like that dog could really play. That's basketball. a basketball playing dog. Huh. Yeah, he was in the D League for like two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> you could actually, yeah, you could draft him to your fantasy team. It <laughs> wow. was crazy. Yeah, it was a whole thing. <clears throat> that must have been a sad day when Bud died, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, mine's Scooby Doo, personally. Oh, he died. Is he dead? I think he. I mean, he must be dead now, right? I mean, the show's been on for like twenty-five years. Wait a second. Yeah, I hear like a. This is like a vague like. Of Scooby Doo howl in the distance. Yeah. Yeah, is he here? Scooby? <laughs> Damn, he is he's looking rough. Yeah, dude. Well, that's what happens when you're dead. What uh all right. You look rough when you're dead? Rough. It's yeah. a good one. Good dog. Very good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You see, my body was riddled with worms, pavo, distemper. I was a neglected animal. You were. But here in heaven, mm. not so much. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that why your voice isn't? Yeah, what's it's up with not, your voice? Uh, like, what happened to the rut row? Yeah. Well, that was Wait, because oh. I was limited to my earthly bounds. I had no working vocal cords with which to express myself. I think that is. I, I prefer the old voice. Yeah. I'm happy for you, but at the same time, I kind of miss the... Yeah, what, 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 Could you do your impression again? <laughs> how, how do you think Was that not... Of? bro? Was that not it? That was pretty bad. Can you think you... Is that the best you can muster? Can you do it? So that I have a little bit of a... Do the laugh. <laughs> the laugh. <laughs> She's got it still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was going to do. Just for this, I mean, I know that you could, is it demeaning if we ask you to do the old voice? Not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> One oh, moment. Okay? He's, he's getting warmed up <laughs> yeah, back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, I think he threw up a little bit. 
<laughs> Yikes! It's been a long time. And so you're saying the whole time that wasn't your actual voice. I had a bad case of earworms, and my neglectful owners didn't ever take me to the vet to get them treated. So Shaggy was like your technical owner, right? Terrible owner. Really? Shaggy yes. was? I would piss and shit everywhere in the van. He would hit me. He would yell at me. Hit you? He would yank the choke chain. Wow. And you say you're in heaven now? Yes. I guess a question that I don't know if it's on your guys' mind. What's the what's the true religion that actually gets you into heaven? Mm. <sighs> that is a good question. It's a simple one. Yeah, I feel like you're stalling. Uh... <laughs> Satanism. Oh. Satanism is That's the only one. What? The only true religion. Wasn't the one that I would have guessed. And do all dogs go to heaven? That's a good question. No, they don't. Oh, no. Scrappy. <laughs> is it? He's burning. Let me what? tell you. Why? <laughs> because that little guy, he... Uh, <laughs> he was Jehovah Witness. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. He oh. got into... Uh, he sold fentanyl. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yes. <laughs> The margins on fentanyl are just, they were just too much for him to ignore. And uh, he made a great amount of money, but at a great cost. (laughs) I just have a lot of regrets. I felt I could have been a better role model to little Scrappy. (laughs) Perhaps he wouldn't be where he is today had I just tried a little harder. Was he doing drugs too? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Rocket Money. Are you wasting money on subscriptions? 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. Maybe for you it's an unused Amazon Prime account or a Hulu account that never gets streamed. There's this great app that I use that helps me track all my expenses and because of it, I no longer waste money on subscriptions I don't even use. You might have heard of it. It's called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. Oh yeah, Cody's a big fan of Rocket Money, which is formerly known as Truebill. Do you, you know? Too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost? Most Americans think they spend around eighty dollars a month on subscriptions, when the actual total is closer to two hundred dollars plus. Whoa, that's right. You could be wasting hundreds of dollars each month on subscriptions you don't even know about. Mm-hmm. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't <laughs> want. O F O F O F O F O F O F O Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm a member of their monthly subscription website. Yeah. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you don't even know you were paying for. You may even find out that you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Wow. Yeah. It's nice to be able to cancel something. Yeah. <clears throat> Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash meatlocker. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash meatlocker. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com slash meatlocker. Cancel them. No. You're in heaven. Yes. You talk to the big man upstairs. So whose side are you on, Palestine or Israel? <sighs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Egypt. Huh. You Fucking say dude, Egypt? I'm on Egypt. CIA, yeah. dude. I'm telling you. CIA. Mm. CIA. Uh, yeah, I, I see what it is now. So you guys ran around. You oh, is that, a, is that a nut from that the chair? Hmm. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I generally just thought I like like shit was falling off of my Yeah, did you just shit out a little M&M right there? No, what, it's, what the, is it? it's the bolts from the, just under, under so much pressure. My fat body is yeah. pushing out. <laughs> the wood can't hold in anything anymore. It's just like... It's pushing out the fucking bolts, <laughs> shooting. They're shooting. It's out. like it's like in Titanic. Hot. It's they're like a Titanic hot. when all the water flows in and the bolts are like. <laughs> 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 That's how my the, my fat flesh is doing to this <laughs> this poor piece of fucking balsa wood that they got made out of this chair. Sorry, Scoob. I can't wait till this thing just fucking explodes. It's going to yeah. break, <laughs> and I yeah. I'm, I'm I'm afraid that like I'm gonna catch your. Little baby feet. I do like how you sit. You sit like this with your feet inwards, like that. Do I? It's like a little big old baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Scoob. So Scoob. Palestine or Israel? <laughs> well, <laughs> just answer the fucking question, dude. It's like, can I ask you about the 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 um? I want to ask you like a Scooby Doo question. Sure. You know about the about the crew. What did you? What, what were your opinions on all the people? You know, Daphne and and. Uh, Daphne was a cunt. 
Okay. Velma was very sexy. Oh. She would rub my red rocket from time to time because she sensed that I needed a, a little bit of relief. Uh, the tall, handsome guy was a cuck and a piece of shit. <laughs> and Shaggy was... Uh, he was an awful man. Well, he... He had an abusive father. Mm-hmm. And the the cycle hey, I'm not gonna lie. generational we, hey, we didn't, we didn't trauma. Come here for all this, we didn't ask you. The yeah. generational. Yeah, yeah, give the fuck. Yeah. I You're dead. Man. I may not give a fuck I about fuck you. you. I dead. know you'll regret right. asking yeah. that. Question. Tell us about Velma's pussy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> very tight. Very. Small. What did she do when she gripped your red rocket? How did she hold it? Was it like two handed? What are we talking about? It was one handed, but to be fair, I'm she thought she here. thought it was Shaggy's, but he was always asleep. So I would oh, just from, lean from over. Scrappy's fentanyl. I'm not going to say that, but, you know, let your imagination do with it what you will. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Red Rockets coming out. <laughs> I like you boys. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Scoop. You understand me. I don't. Can we get the original voice one more time? Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) So good. It's nostalgic, isn't it? That's good. I think it's time for you to. Yeah, I think it's time for you to get the fuck. I'm gonna here, go man. drag my ass through this court. Yeah, here, wait, wait, scoop. Ball. <laughs> you <want a> ball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, go get it. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Have you guys ever read a creepy pasta that actually freaked you out? Because I've read one that freaked me the fuck out. I definitely have. Yeah, I have. Wait, didn't I tell you that? <laughs> didn't I try to do this on the podcast one time? The story about the, the windows and the cabin in the forest. Did I not do that? Um, I feel like I did I don't that remember. on the podcast. <clears throat> I'll, I'll abbreviate mine and then you can tell yours and we can hit 100. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You guys are going to hate mine. Mine was about... Because <laughs> I'm, I'm just Cody bad start at... Start it. All right, I'm yeah. just bad at yeah, telling yeah. it. Yeah, we, try go to... Ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? The fuck are you saying ready for? Just Cause get ready. I am ready. It's here. scary. It's I'm, a I'm spooky watching fucking you right now. story, dude. Mm. Are you strapped in? Okay, good. So there's this photographer, right? Uh, Na- I'm told you. I told you. All right, it, go ahead. You're already getting the vibes, right? Yeah. Nature photographer, right? Birds, something like that. <laughs> yeah. He goes out into the forest to take pictures of birds, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can do a little act out. Yes, exactly. Uh, and he, you know, he gets a couple good shots and, you know, there's a lot of good birds out that day and then the sun starts going down, right? He realizes he's pretty deep into the forest and he realizes, where's my, where's my compass? Where's my map? I must have, I must have misplaced, misplaced them back at the, at the last birding location or whatever. And so he's, he realizes, wait, okay, the sun's like touching the horizon now. I'm just gonna, um, oh, there's a cabin up there. I'm going to stay in that cabin mm. for the night and and try to find my way back in the morning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it actually oh, yeah. is. Okay. And I, that's it's... helping me get into it, too. So it, all of a sudden, it's completely dark, right? And he goes to the cabin and uh, he, <laughs> yep, he goes inside. He may, you know, he eats a little dinner or whatever. And then, you know, as he's trying to fall asleep, he's looking around and he realizes that there's all these pictures paintings on the wall of just horrified disfigured faces looking at him peering at him and he, he's really freaked out he can't help but you know feel like kind of haunted from all these and he and he anyways he goes to sleep he wakes up and they were windows Wait, what do you mean <laughs> so that's the conclusion of the story <laughs> oh yeah he, he wakes up and he realizes it was windows windows okay because there was spooky stuff looking at him. Actual sp- spooky stuff. They weren't paintings. So they were people. Also, that sees... So, do he, is it... Because when you say pictures and stuff, I imagine it's a, the picture frames are sort of... Yeah. yeah. So it's like, did the guy just make a house where it was just like, you see, it'll look like the picture frames, but truly it's just windows to look outside. Right. I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. 
But I remember the first time I read that online, I scared the shit out of me. But it was like it was written a lot more eloquently than I yeah was able to tell it. Rate my acting performance. Uh, ten out of ten. I would say eight out of ten. Yeah, this guy. Mm-hmm. An average of nine. Yeah, and I realized at the end I could have done a Windows. That's a good. That's one. what I thought you were going. I know with. I, I should have done that. Totally I should have done that because he said Windows, and I should have said Windows nuts rests on your forehead. Soft texture of your lips. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> What's your creep pasta that you've read? A group of, um, like young teenagers want to go ghost hunting. They heard about a cabin that's haunted some of them think oh it's not haunted others think it is but they all agree that they're going to stay the night there so they all pack up like they're camping they all hike out to the cabin they set up in the cabin and uh, they give it a go and what starts to happen is as they're getting closer to the cabin some of them keep complaining that they can smell and taste a sensation of nickel and then as night settles and they're all preparing to sleep into the cabin. What? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hunter's the, acting it out for us, yeah. The smell and the taste of nickel starts to become more and more palpable. None of them can seem to shake it, but they all kind of corroborate this taste in their mouths that what is this? You know, what is this nickel taste? Um, The next day they get up. I believe a couple of them venture out into the woods and they encounter a an indigenous man. Um, But he appears more like an apparition. And he's like, I think like covered in blood or something. And I want to say he says something like, um, like, that's my blood you taste or something like that. They freak out. They go running back into the cabin. I, I want to say, like, the conclusion is something like they, I don't know, they all fucking suck each other. And <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I was kind of into that, honestly. I got the first half of it right, like more or less right, but I don't remember the conclusion. <laughs> Wait, so. you really? So that was a real story. Yeah, 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 like yeah, lost yeah, it. yeah. I forgot the ending. So, <laughs> damn, you guys are about to act that out. <laughs> yeah, so they start fucking and sucking each other, and it's like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can taste the nickel on each other, and it's yeah. just driving them crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was calm. The Isn't whole time. something like if you can smell nickel, it's not like you're having a stroke or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Or like you're having a heart attack oh, no, or something. Burnt like that. toast, isn't it? I thought burnt toast was heart attack. Mm. I thought nickel was a stroke. I mean, that sounds right. It, it, I don't that, know. I th- or no, I think the toast is a stroke what? because there's been one time where my friend burnt toast in my apartment, and I was like. <laughs> And I like started freaking out, <laughs> and I like ran out, and he was like, "Dude, I knew you were gonna thought that you had a stroke <laughs> like that." Wow, that's the meanest shit ever. What's yours? What's your doing story? called Ted? The, it was called Ted the Caper. Okay, and it's like a guy. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because yeah, yeah. long as fuck. But it's just about a guy who talks about. It was actually uploaded to an old. I don't know if you guys were you did like were on blogs or shit back in the day, but I'm pretty sure the website was Angelfire. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. Um. Ted yeah, the Ted the Caver. He he did. Uh, it was like this guy who was actually doing cave diving, mm-hmm. and he was writing a blog. But then he ended up turning it into a story because that's how his family would check up on him. Is they would like read his blogs and stuff. And he started like it just created this like really fucking awesome story about um, how like there's something in the cave, and he's like really like enamored by it. It's like weird sounds, but he doesn't like see anything but it's like all oh, this like really like claustrophobic pictures of shit of like holes he has to crawl through and everything but it's just really fucking good so that was just one that I remember reading all the way through and being like oh wow yeah like you know what like, you're scared you do <laughs> yeah I did that like I was like on my computer I did <laughs> like a, an audible <laughs> yeah <laughs> my wife was like what are you doing I was like <laughs> uh, watching uh, porn <laughs> yeah <laughs> bukaki <laughs> It's a really scary story about a caver. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, cool. She's like, wow, okay. 
And you're a grown man, right? Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, promise me you'll never go in a cave. <laughs> no desire to do that. I you never plan on it. Did your wife ever say shit like that to you? Like, does she read something scary and say, promise me you'll never do that? No. No. Did Kelsey ever done that to you? No. Elena's done that to me a couple times. It's, a, I mean, actually, yeah. Yeah. I guess, like, an example of, like, if she like read about like it's like some guy got hit on a bicycle, which she like, <laughs> yeah. promise me you never ride a bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that the only thing they've ever said is or that I've ever had someone be like, uh, I don't know how if I could handle. But I don't know if I could handle if you started riding motorcycles. Yeah, or something like that. I like how I'm just mocking my fiance for being concerned <laughs> about my well being. Listen, dude. Hey, boys will be boys. W- right? Women, women, fuck it. Women always worried about your well being and shit. Yeah. It's like, dude, just... I want to be an underwater welder. Come on, dude, just let me be an underwater welder. My wife's so worried all the time. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Adam and Eve. What is Adam and Eve? Adam and Eve empowers people to explore sex and their sexuality in a safe, inclusive, and welcoming environment. They believe sexual pleasure is a healthy and important part of life that should be understood and celebrated. Now. Whether you're shopping for yourself, you know, if you're a guy like me who can fill this up pretty easily, or maybe you're shopping for someone special, Adam and Eve will have the perfect gifts and with an amazing deal. In addition to offering everything you could possibly want from a sex toy store, they prioritize your privacy. They use state-of-the-art encryption to protect your credit card information and send out your order in plain packaging to preserve your privacy. What's more, Adam and Eve will never appear on your billing statement. My personal favorite is this triple chamber ball drainer. Mm -hmm. You just put your nuts right in it and... And At adamandeve.com, get 50% off and free shipping. That's 50% off an adventurous new toy, a slippery lube, or almost anything you desire. Yeah, I got this for us, the couples enhancer. Good. (laughs) Good. (laughs) Looking forward to... Isn't that... Our podcast listeners will get 50% off almost any item. Just use code MEATLOCKER at checkout and you'll get 50% off and free shipping. And it's Christmas, so, you know, come on. Tis the season. These make good gifts for the fam. <laughs> you got a secret Santa coming up with your family? <laughs> Why don't you help out your your parents with the couple's uh, enhancer? Yeah, your your uncle has been asking for a ball drainer, hasn't he? So go to adamandeve.com, select any one item, and use code MEATLOCKER, M-E-A-T-L-O-C-K-E-R. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so uh, be sure to support the show and use the code MEATLOCKER uh, to get your meat locked up. In, in 50% off and free and 50% shipping. off, yeah, and, and 100% free shipping. Now, let's be clear. When you use the code MEATLOCKER, you get not only 50% off, but also 100% free shipping with the code MEATLOCKER. Yeah, right. Uh, you can get just about any item at 50% off plus free shipping. Go to adamandeve.com right now. You, uh, you weld? Well, you weld. Well, don't these, don't don't fall for it. Well, these well these nuts taste pretty good, don't they? No, uh, legitimate. Do you weld? Have you? No, no, no. no. But I, I've like done to. it before. Like tig. Yeah, I would tig like. To. Just cool. I don't know, just yeah. go on. YouTube yeah, I've done that. it. Yeah, yeah. No, have you? I have. Yeah, metal shop. This kid. Uh, there's like a metal grinder that you can smooth out your welds with. Yeah. And I had a, I had it was like a baseball coach. Who's just like, I guess I'll teach this stupid fucking yeah, kind of guy. Yeah. And he's always just upset with everything, but he's just like, this is kid that was just so fucking stupid. And he's like, the wheel is spinning like this, and he like would put his thumb up like that. So his nail big. <laughs> <laughs> his fucking name was, I can't say his name, but it, it's a, uh, yeah, I, it doesn't matter. But he's at uh, the, the teacher walked by and he was just like, don't fucking do that. Yeah. And the kid's like, okay, I won't. <laughs> and he like walked off and he's like, whatever. <laughs> His fucking thumbnail hooked to it and it flung all the way off and it hit the uh, special needs kid in the class that was doing something and the kid ate it. <laughs> ate the thumbnail. You have been living in your animations your whole life, dude. Well, anyways, the kid. Well, to, I guess to continue that too, because that's that's true. I'm not. That's not even a joke. Yeah, no, I know. Because he ate it, and there and it was like. So the kid was sitting there, and it, ton, or fingernail flung off <laughs> toenail. Yeah, he's, just got his on his... he's like a ballerina. <laughs> 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 yeah. That'd be impressive. I'd be like, God damn, he's flexible. <laughs> it just hands um, on his hips. Yeah. He's like, I stretch every morning. I'm like, you do. Look at you. Um, 
but his fingernail went up like that, shot off, and he was like, <gasps> like that, and. And was he, like, he called, how can you be surprised? He told you don't fucking do that. Well, we were all like, okay, like, who saw that fucking coming? <laughs> but he, he, but he like wrapped it in like that shitty like school like yeah yeah towel paper, paper towel, that's like yeah. brown. It's yeah, like yeah. essentially oh, paper, God, like yeah. actual it paper. Smells like shit. So he's sitting there, he's like this, he's like he's sweating so hard, like <laughs> sweating profusely, gaunt cheeks. He's just you know like shaking. Teacher comes in, and he's just <laughs> teacher comes in. And he's just, and he's like, all right, well, you know, you guys did, and he like took one look at him, and he was just like, son of a bitch. <laughs> what did you, what happened? He's like, show me a thumb. He's like, uh, uh. he's like, show me a goddamn thing. Like, whenever I looked at it, it's, it's fine, it's fine. He like took it off, but the paper towel was stuck to like the open wind thing, oh, and it, oh. and it like ripped off, whatever. And the kid was like, ah, oh, and he's like, he's like, <laughs> like that. He freaked, oh. he's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> well, she was like, ah. Like that, more like that. And Mr. And I can't say his name probably, but my, my my teacher was like, he literally did this. This is why I I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like that, like freaked out. And he grabbed uh he's a baseball coach, he had a bat in the room and he fucking like fucking hit the door with it. Ah! <sighs> and kids in the back who were playing like robot unicorn attack were like, huh? Yeah. Like oh, yeah. what's even happening? Yeah. I took Damn, that's a good story. Yeah, it is. I took wood shop. I took woodshop too. Yeah, I love and my teacher was. Uh, yeah, you would love wood. What's it called when you fall asleep randomly? Narcolepsy. Uh, yeah, narcolepsy. My teacher was narcoleptic. Right. What? Do, like, come on, you're making all of this up. I swear to God, <laughs> you're fucking with it's us. It's Kansas City, man. Yeah, I he's, guess that's true. His car in Missouri. Yeah. Oh, and he if he wouldn't take his pills, he'd be like, he's like, no, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you, I'm sleepy today. <laughs> he would tell you. So if he was demonstrating like a table saw, he had a he would wear these. Sh- I'm, I swear to he God, he was an alcoholic. I for swear sure. to God, about this. You're, you're gonna. <laughs> he was definitely an alcoholic. No, he was a big, lovable man. Okay, I, there was never uh, the what well, the metal shop teacher. A little bit of vodka on his breath. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Motherfucker was fighting some demons like every day. <laughs> but the wood shop guy was just like a lovable guy, just narcolepsy. <laughs> Just fell asleep all the time, dude. I'm just big old, him. but he I and I swear because when I told my mom about this, she's like, "You're lying." Oh my God. But he had he would wear these shirts with a handle on the back right here. So then when he was demonstrating stuff, you would have to stand behind him, and if he fell asleep, you would grab him up. Like he's like because he was with he, a mid, saw. He, he on this hand he had a fucking pinky. It was a nub. He had a pinky because of all the times he'd fallen yeah, asleep with like, a saw. <laughs> Literally every time. You think you'd like pick up a different craft? Sorry, I was just, like model trains or something. Why do you? Why are you still trying to woodwork? I pictured him just falling asleep and going face first into a lathe machine. He, oh, I mean, he, I I don't. Yeah, I only yeah, ever yeah. I only ever saw the. Uh, but he was. I'll tell you that was the funniest <laughs> shit ever on that lathe. He's sitting there making. He's like, well, you can make lamps too. And he had that one fucking pinky draped over one of those tools, and he was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Having a man with precision, he's just like a whole nub on his hand and just like one pinky just draped over. He's like, now you got to be careful. Anyone who's doing this, it's just a fucking nub. With a, he's like, you got to be careful. All right. First thing I practice is safety in this workshop. Imagine waking he's, up. He, 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 he's sitting there. He's like, we practice safe. <laughs> and he had stools everywhere. So if you thought he'd be able to come in, he'd be like in the middle of a lecture and he'd be like, he'd be like, you know, balsa wood is the softest wood and it. <laughs> He just sit in the chair and he just. <laughs> and then how? And then how long? Like, would you? It was like, all right. it was, it's usually like a minute or two. Like it was never too long. <laughs> and never was oh just wait silent. God, dude. Well, then people were just like because you don't give a shit. Well, back then it was like not everybody had like the touch phones and shit yet. Yeah, yeah, so people yeah. would like get out there like eye touches and play like <laughs> just like Fruit Ninja or some shit. They're like, <laughs> and he wake back up and he he like wake out of his slumber and be like, ugh. Hey, what did I say about turning that <laughs> shit on during this class? And they're like, sorry, Mr. Well, you were Damn, sleeping. Damn, that's... Yeah, you were sleeping. He's like, only for a second. <laughs> that's wild. He can just come to like that, like just in the middle of a lesson. and then just It feels continue. like hell. Imagine like, that would wake, be hell. That'd imagine be hell. waking up, like, uh, and you're like spraying blood out of the three fingers. That I imagine that happened to him a lot. That's well, what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like, three of those times where probably he woke up and... Oh, oh! And Who was like, responsible for the handle? The t-shirt handle? Usually any of the big football guys. That is he'd, so... He'd always, he'd always be like, what's your name? There's like this uh, German kid who came from Germany, or coach like scouted him out or some shit, I don't know. But he was like a big guy named Franz. He's like, what's your name? Franz? He's like, you're my, he said, you're my handle. And he's like, okay. And he would manhandle the fuck out of that teacher. Big boy. 
He's like, and I haven't sleep, and he's like trying to do his job. Me fucking like pull him back. He's like, no, Fran, stop, not <laughs> not now. I'm, I'm awake. <laughs> oh my god, dude, your high <laughs> school like, sounds like an experiment, bro. What the fuck? Get off your fucking phone, dude. You're at work. Sorry, sorry. Well, if he's looking at his phone, then I'm just gonna take a shit. Oh, all right. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. Can I have a sit? I want to have a sit on your balsa wood. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Yo, let me take a squat on your balsa wood. How's it feel? <laughs> Hard. How's, how's Damn it. Wood feel. Yeah, Hunter's wood is pretty. It's pretty tough. I can't believe you just wanted to take a shit. I know this. Honestly, this wood is like like little guy grade. Oh. Thanks, dude. <laughs> he, just, he shit that right out of his butt. Damn. <laughs> this, yeah, this wood is meant for us. Mm -hmm. You know, the the smaller people. Yeah. You know, there's a fuck ton of ghosts around here. I wonder, dude, we should like hit someone up, like a Ghostbuster or something. Wait, whoa. Yo, who the fuck? Who the fuck is this? What's Yo, up, man? What's up? Shh, shh, shh. What? Shh. What? Shh. Sorry, what? Oh my god. What? what? This place is so haunted. Oh, this is awesome. Who the fuck are you guys? Who are you, dude? Who are you? Bryce Campbell. Okay. Bryce Campbell. We don't know what who I, I don't know. Paranormal who investigator. Um, Bryce Campbell. Um, okay. All right. Like you a ghost? Yeah, you, you yeah live, like ghost. Okay. You live in the area or something? Is that why no. you're out here? No. Oh. I have an RV. Got and it. I go around the country. Got it. And I look for ghosts. Well, what brought you watch here? Watch out for that. That was a ghost that did that. No way. Actually? You better watch out. That was a ghost. No way. It yeah. really was. Right behind you right now, what if I told you that there was a six foot tall ghost and it was a person who was six feet tall? What would you say? Have you ever met somebody that was six feet tall? I, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Hey, many times. Yeah. All right. Are they like dead or like scary looking or They're, just six feet tall? He's just a six foot tall man. Oh. Okay. What, what, what are you doing coming to the cornfield, man? I'm out here doing investigations for HGTV. Right. Oh. Okay. What, what are you investigating? What's going on? Well, we're just finding scoops. We go to properties. We renovate them. We exercise them. Nice. Two birds, one stone. Right. Right. For floors. Right. Do you like pine floors? Yeah. <laughs> what? Do you like yeah. pine floors? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. So you're a ghost hunter that renovates houses. Yeah. And this is a show that you do? This is a show that I do on HGTV. Okay. <laughs> That's cool, man. Okay. You've probably been at a gym. Yes. And seen people walking on a treadmill. I yeah. certainly have. I've been with HGTV a on the little monitors. Yeah. You've probably seen my show. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I mean, it's awesome to have you then. <laughs> Weird. I didn't. Damn, I didn't know we were in the presence of a celebrity. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, you just kind of came out here seeming just like a ghost hunter. But you're more well, than I'm that. both. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's cool. So, what's well, the scariest ghost you've ever hunted? The scariest ghost I've ever hunted. Sorry, for a second. I thought I heard something. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Okay. No, uh, nothing. Freak me out, man. Yeah, he's... We're just saying there's... I have this gadget right here. Do you see this? Yeah. yeah. What is that? It's huge, worry, man. Right? How the hell do you fit that in your pants? Yeah, Jesus Christ. So many knobs. These are big pants. So many... I got a lot of pockets. These are yeah. cargo pants. Oh, okay. Well, what does this device do? Yeah. I'm... This device lets me know if a spirit is traveling through the air or underground. Oh. Because ghosts sometimes are underground. Wow. Way. Yeah. Subterranean? Yeah. Wow. So what are you reading right now? There's nothing. There's nothing on this deal. Oh, I was just oh. pulling it out to make sure. Got it. I just wanted you guys to see this. Yeah, sure. Pretty sick. You'll never be able to afford this. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'm looking at you right now, and I can tell... You're poor. Mm. You're passing through here on your RV. You're, I guess you're on a ghost hunting expedition. My Toyota Camry. Go ahead. Toyota Camry. Sorry. You said RV earlier. Ocean Pearl. Ocean Pearl. I hitched the RV to the back of the Toyota Camry. Got it. Right. right. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, we got how we high power We have there. an editing bay in the RV. Right. Um. <laughs> so you're, you're just driving through. I don't through. understand why you're laughing. I'm just, it's how I deal with uncomfortable situations. Yeah, so man. you are uncomfortable. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Can you put this in your mouth? Sure. Oh, you go put that in your mouth. Remote. What is that? Just put that in your mouth. Okay. What if I told you I found that in a dead person's asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would. That would. That would really suck. 
I feel pretty sick to my stomach. What does it taste like? Like a dead person's ass. Yeah. Okay. How and would nickel. you know how that taste? <laughs> hmm? How would you know how that taste? No reason. <clears throat> and, and anyways, um, Bryce, was it Bryce? Yeah. Bryce. Um, I, we kind of have, we've had some paranormal experiences since we've been here. Uh, we've seen some ghosts today, just today. Mm-hmm. I actually had Bloody Mary visit me last night and try to top me off. False. False? False. How so? How? False? I don't believe it. Well, why? Because I'm looking at you. I look at your posture. I can tell you're lying. A lot of people try to abuse the ghost game. Okay. What ended up happening was you tried jacking off. Your dick couldn't get hard, so you just flopped around your pants for a bit. Is that right? No. Be honest. No, no. Is that what you call Bloody Is Mary in your happened? house? Oh, dude. Is that what happened? A Bloody Mary. Is that what happened? Is it what happened? I bet you took three Advil. You thought you'd get spicy. You didn't. You just flopped around a floppy little cock. Is that right? No. Tell me be honest with me. No, I'm being honest with you, man. Bloody Mary taught me off. That's a weird thing to make False. up. Lie. I believe my boy. I don't think my boy would lie, Buck, and he would don't. Lie. He, he's lied to you his entire life. No, I don't think you'd lie, Buck, and don't. If you, if, Especially if, from Bloody Mary. I if mean, I had a pretty... floppy cock, I would just say I had a floppy cock. No, I, you're, t- you're, you're not brave enough. I think you're jealous. Hmm? I think you're jealous. I got an erection right now. Yeah. No, I you, can see that. Yeah. No, you know what? I think you've heard this story before. I think you've seen this type of thing before ghosts showing attention to innocent civilians but you the ghost hunter you can't seem to get a ghost to suck your shit yeah you for all the s- effort you put in you I ever been get, sucked I off by get, a ghost yes and i could get possessed at any time i, I don't believe anytime it. i want to i can get possessed you can get possessed anytime, yes, anytime okay, get, get possessed to. right now get possessed i'll get possessed right now okay, okay. do it <laughs> Holy hello <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? Damn. I am the ghost that possessed Bryce. I'm actually an old... I used to fix shoes back in the day. That's what's, what I used to do. What's your name? Bryce Campbell. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you were possessing Bryce Campbell. We have the same name. Interesting. Mm-hmm. That's how he's able to do this. He's able to keep ghosts with the same name. That's how we know each other. Got it. So, all right, so you used to shine shoes back in the day. Where are you from? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you're a demon? Oh, sorry about that. I just <laughs> I just came out of my possession. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So it's just it's just sometimes. What do you think about that? <laughs> now, now what cool. if I told you that that was me just doing a voice? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore, man. Yeah, you're man. Ta- you're really you're really talented, honestly. Did I shake your faith in this man right here? You did. You definitely did. So do you think that he got his little dick played with by a ghost? I, I kind of think that His tiny, happen. tiny little dick <sighs> looks like a little baby's pinky. It looks like a baby if a baby broke his pinky. That's what broke, it looks like. like a broken baby all right, pinky. All right, Bryce, how about this? Yes. How about this? You ever heard of anyone getting sexually involved with a ghost? Absolutely. Tell me a story. Well, there was a guy from Belmont, Michigan. Okay. And he had ghost babies. Really? Yes. How did that come about? It was like a cheaper by the dozen situation, but right. with, with ghost babies. How did how did he even get to fucking a ghost, let alone getting it pregnant? He found out basically how to do that Ghostbusters box thing. Okay. He trapped a ghost. He fell madly in love with it. Mm-hmm. And now they have a beautiful family. Consensual ghost sex. Right. It's very hip. Hmm. And it's very cool. So if consensual ghost sex is possible, then how is it impossible that Bloody Mary would not suck my shit completely <laughs> off last night? Because with your little, tiny, tootsie roll, pee I don't believe it. You're a man who breeds on confidence. <laughs> I look at you right now, and I think to myself, what a weak man. You're getting owned. You can say all this all you want. You're just fucking mad that I got taught by Bloody Mary, and you never will. Bloody Mary sucked my little tiny bee dick 
You know why? Because it's easy and it melts in your mouth. No, I, I, I can't small. hear this actually. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my oh. God! This thing, this thing's going off in my oh, hand. Is it hurting you? This kind is of this crazy you? device Mary is so. Sucked my tiny uh-oh. little tootsie roll. Uh oh. There's a there's a ghost over stick. here. She like my little sugar nub. Oh she man, I have to. I think I hear a ghost in the in the cornfield. I gotta go. I gotta go back in the cornfield. I can't find out that ghost. Yeah, it was all in it was all in her mouth. You can't handle it. You can't handle the truth, Bryce. You're just fucking mad that she would. Never suck your regular dick. She wanted my tiny little Tootsie Roll cock. Fucking loser. What? Yeah, what the fuck was that? <laughs> no, it's just fucking. It, it's nothing. This dude showed up. He he's being weird, man. How was your poop? <sighs> Runny. Mm. <clears throat> too bad. What do you think is the first song that plays when you get to heaven? Oh, oh um, oh, um. Venga Boys. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. That one. That's got to be hell. Yeah. Mm, it's you a good song. That? It's a good song. I think so, but I just feel like that'd be even more fucked up if you went to hell and it was, boom, 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 boom. I want you in my Well, room. it's a good song. So Welcome. I'd be stoked either way. Hmm? I want you in my room. Welcome. You've to made hell. it. Not not together. It's now to, you're like, well, where am I? You're here. You've made it. Mm. I'm just, I'm just picturing it. Yeah. yeah. What do you think it is? What, for heaven or hell? I'm heaven. Here I am, breaking like a hurricane. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, here it goes. I've, a, I've fucking arrived. I fucking made I it. I mean, that would be sick. Yeah. Coming to the stage. <laughs> He's made it. <laughs> you know what I bet it is, honestly? Honestly, you know what I think it is? What? I bet it's the Gary Jules cover of uh, the Tears for Fear song. All around me are familiar faces. Isn't that kind of depressing, though? That's so depressing. Well, it is. I mean, like, you just died, and then it's just this it's ethereal kind of sound. Mm. I don't expect it to be the 80s thing. I think it's going to be very sad, or it's going to be like, you know, like, oh, <laughs> oh. It's like, you know, like strings and all kinds yeah. of stuff. I think that's too beautiful. I think it's going to be like, like. Well, it's just, if it's that grandiose thing, like, ah, you know, like stuff flying around. <laughs> yeah. Drops, and then this, like, the gatekeeper or whatever, he's like, Take my hand, welcome. Almost yeah. like the old man from Jurassic Park where he's like, welcome yeah. to Jurassic Park. That's what it'd be like for heaven. <laughs> I was picturing like Monk Chamber singing, like where it's like, whoa. Nah, it's not quite. What if it was, was it Louis Armstrong? <laughs> what if he's like, what if he was just there? He has, your, he, has a pers- that. he has a personalized song for everybody. That would be, that would be sick. Everywhere. That would be beautiful. That would be awesome. Would that be cool? Yeah. I'd feel super welcomed at that point. Hmm. Well, it's too bad that you you didn't get to meet that ghost hunter. Yeah, it was kind of strange. Yeah, I heard oh, him. He was weird. He sounded fucking. I was shit my brains out. I heard him. He sounded yeah. like a fucking idiot. Yeah. There's too, there's too, there's too many ghosts. Ah! There's too many ghosts. <laughs> <laughs>